This is um, an AS Biology Year 12 lesson. We've been looking at lung structure, ventilation, and we've looked a little bit at lung disease. Today we're going to be looking at um, using a spirometer. Um, we're going to introduce some of the key terms, such as vital capacity, tidal volume. Um, we're going to also calculate pulmonary ventilation rate. And we're going to actually get out the spirometer and have a look and analyse and interpret some of the data from that spirometer. Down a pressure gradient. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of eight, would you just pop me a mark on your whiteboard when you get yours back and just hold me it up for me so I can just see how many you got? So it's your mark you're holding up. Okay, so out of eight, you show me how many you got. Gives me an idea of how many I need to do. Okay, no problems. We've missed some lessons on this side, I know that. No worries. Okay. Right, fabulous, great. Okay, right, I know now now where I need to work on those. Okay. Right then, so moving on to today's lesson then. What we're gonna look at, we're gonna we've got quite a few new words to introduce today. So these are some of the new words: vital capacity, tidal volume, breathing rate we're familiar with, and oxygen uptake we're familiar with. And we're gonna look at calculating the pulmonary ventilation rate. And we're going to actually look at a spirometer, and we're going to analyse and interpret some data from a spirometer, um, which we'll look at in a moment. So there's just some kind of ideas of the grading of it. Obviously, we're getting harder as we're going up. This is a picture of a person using a spirometer, um, the type that you might see in perhaps a doctor surgery, quite um, advanced kind of... Um, uh, graphing machinery we've got there. Perhaps ours isn't quite as advanced, but it's the type that you'd more likely see on an exam paper ours, so ours is perhaps more useful to us. Ours is going to be in this style, and you can see we've got that set up over there. Now then, all it's a matter is of this person breathing in and out of this air type chamber, and it causes this balance to move up and down, because that's floating on, ox in, on a layer of water. So when that gets filled with oxygen, it rises up. Okay, so when a person breathes out, is it going to rise up or go down? Let's say when it gets filled with air, it rises up. I should perhaps have said, well, let's have a look on this picture here. Let's have a look on this on the uh, image. Okay, when's it rising up? Are you sure? when he's breathing out. Watch it. When that space gets... Are we looking at the thing, the, the bit on the rack? So are we looking at the thing that's going to pick up? Oh, right, OK. Well, we'll have a look on our actual thing, and then we'll see from there. But you can see how this needle's moving as he's breathing in and out. OK? So that's just giving you an idea of the bit that you probably won't see on ours, this bit where we've got this water rising and falling here. OK? Right then, so we're going to go back to ours and we're going to go and have a look down there. And we're going to look at all these key points when we get down to that bottom bit. So, just come down. Okay, so like on the board, we've got a bit here that somebody's going to breathe into. Okay, and as they breathe in, this is going to rise and it's going to fall. Okay, you can see here that we've got a little pen. Well, it's got a cap on it actually, but when we take that cap off, we'll have a little pen that's going to make a mark on our graph. This will spin round. It'll spin round really slowly. The best time kind of readings we get on it is when we get it spinning at about one millimetre per second, which is pretty slow. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. Doesn't actually look like it's moving, does it? It is. I swear it is. Promise you. But it's going really, really slowly, isn't it? But that's as much as we need. And you'll see when we draw the graph that that'll be fine. Now then. What we've got here, um, as this person breathes in, as I say, this is our air chamber. Um, as it fills with air, we're going to get it to rise up. When it leaves, its, when its air's taken out, it's going to go down. Now, it would be a bit dangerous for this person to be just breathing in and out through this if it wasn't for this here. Any ideas what this bit might do? Can you see it from this side, guys? It's what we call soda lime. Any ideas? Do you yep. move the carbon dioxide? Fabulous. 